Sphinx weeps uncontrollably. My girl is dead. Sphinx feels absolutely alone in the world. His turban falling apart. Uh, he puts his head in his hands. Hurting. What is my life worth anymore? Oh, Egyptian, you want the usual? <laughs> Aladdin wanders in innocently and uh, appearing miraculously like a uh, dwarf genie uh, uh, kneeling before him, uh, offering a tarnished silver tray on stacks of non Sphinx's favorite green tea. Sphinx slowly raises his eyes to the dwarf, tears running down his cheeks. Says nothing. <laughs> Aladdin, uh, he places the tray of uh, Don uh, at the feet of Sphinx and uh, he goes up to him, faces him, puts his, his hands on the shoulder and uh, of his disheartened friend. Friend from Alexandria, your girl is dead. You've been sweeping here and at the alleys, uh, the peaceful one. You have become one with Omar in karma yoga, sweeping, Weeping, now weeping. Here comes the weeping, huh? You did well on the sweeping. And you're doing real good on the weeping. Yeah, last will and testament of beloved Omar. Sphinx are not the relics and body of Omar, delivered 100% to his family, compound in bulk. Yes, yeah. because of you. Yes. The moment of your enlightenment has come. You are still alive. Uh, your skull is still dressed in flesh. Uh, so celebrate. Have some fun. Oh, Sphinx, you can't help but smile at the ridiculous looking compassionate baker. Missing front tooth. City Afghani waistcoat, yeah, yeah. The dwarf now gets behind him, massages uh, 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 shoulders, neck. Uh -oh. He patiently rewinds Sphinx turban and puts it back in place. And uh, as the oh, broken-hearted Egyptian reflects, uh, when you are trapped in the depths of sorrow. The people who rescue you are seldom the prominent, obvious people in your life. Uh, no. It's the near stranger, like Aladdin, who throws you that lifeline. Yeah, you're going down in the quicksand of your emotions, huh? You're headed, headed to die. It's that guy you hardly know, you know? Says some dumb or does something stupid uh, that turns you around, or, you know, and maybe that's that woman. You never noticed her before. Uh, never really had any reason to, really. Uh, and she says, uh, you want to talk about it? Yeah. As if the seemingly uh, inconsequentiality of the relationship to them uh, gives them the greater power to heal. Yeah, humble common people, often strangers, servants, uneducated, dispossessed, veterans themselves of hardcore daily suffering, who buy the kind word. 
downer smile. Cheer you up. This kindness, this loving kindness, is the natural elixir of human life. It keeps you intertwined with correctly aligned with the organic fabric of life. Phew. That's why you, in turn, you know, take your turn to be kind, open, accessible, patient. Got to talk all night long? Well, that's the way it goes, okay? Why you must sweep? Why you must weep? At last, the essential message of Dusty flows freely into the soul of Sphinx. He is now fully and for the first time in his life. Awake. <laughs> That's right, Olen. It's time to have some fun. <laughs> All right. Whew. Thank you, Omar. I'd have never found freedom on my own. Thanks for your kindness. Uh, patience. Yeah. Pointing out what I deeply need to see crystal clearly. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam.